Hi Camp Candy Campers, it's Miss Renee back again with another great project for you. This one is so much fun and it's an easy project that you can quickly do and have a lot of fun doing. The first thing you want to make sure that you do is cover your work surface. You can either cut over, open one of the large Ziploc bags like we talked about, you can cut open a plastic grocery bag, or you can cut open a brown paper bag, cut the bottom out of it. Just make sure you get your work surface covered. We're going to be using paint and you don't want to get anything on your nice table. So the first thing we're going to use is a canvas board that's in your bag. The canvas board is um, a surface like sometimes you see stretched canvas. It's got boards around the back and it's stretched. This is just a board that we use a lot of these at camp all the time. These are fun. You can buy them at any arts and crafts store. So we've got our surface ready and you've got masking tape. Now masking tape is in your bag and I'm not sure what size yours is. Mine was too big because this is such a small board. So what I did was I, lay, I put a strip out on the table and anchored it at one end and then you just want to cut it in half. As you go down you'll have to pull the scissors away and make sure it doesn't stick to each other. You can get it all the same size you can get it you know it doesn't really matter this is an abstract painting which means it's not really of something it's just color so i've got some strips already covered and you can see by the example that you're just going to put them anywhere you want to um, it's just kind of fun and free form you just lay it on the board like this press it down with your fingers really good and then tear the strip off you can cut it off too if you want to I'm just going to lay out a few more here. You really want to make sure you get those edges pressed down so that the paint doesn't seep up under it. This doesn't use much paint either. It, although it looks like there's a lot of paint on the board, there's really not that much. It doesn't take a lot of paint at all. So you've got plenty of paint in these paint pot strips to do what I've done on this one. And you'll have some left over in case you want to do another project of some kind. All right, I think that's probably pretty good. So that's what we've got. Now, there's a lot of different ways that you can get paint onto this board. You've got your paint pot strips here. You might want to use all, all the colors. You might only want to use one or two. It doesn't matter. You'll have plenty. So you want to pop open the paint pot strips like this. And then you can use your paintbrush. You, you want to dip it in water and then blot most of the water off. So you can use that to put the paint on there, like that. You can, make sure you put your paintbrush back in water. You can use a little piece of sponge, which I think is also in your kit. Just wet one end of it, blot it off a little bit, and then you can just dip a corner in, and then you can tap it on like this. That's a good way to also blend some of the colors together. Or, you can, this is a piece of a grocery bag, a plastic grocery bag that I cut, and I'm just going to wad this up like this, and then you can dip that in the paint pot surface like that, and dab that on too. And you want to make sure you get it up to the edges of the tape, and you just keep going until you get it all covered. Make sure when you get finished that you close your paint pot strips. You want to make sure that you hear them click, just like a Tupperware lid. And then you can keep those for another project sometime. Here's one I've got that's already finished and it's already dry. You will probably need to let this dry at least an hour. Um, maybe you might want to let it dry overnight before you take the tape off. But then you just pull the tape off like this. And you throw the tape away. One more piece. And there you have it. You have an abstract painting. Have fun!